we're here in the front yard of Mr. Adam Oki and also introducing his newest training partner, manager, extraordinaire. This is Miss Kennedy. Look at her go. Adam, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. You're welcome, it, man. No problem. Now, this is a big time scoop because just today you became part of the Rage in the Cage Arizona versus New Mexico fight card. Yep, I did. Tell I did. me about your opponent. Um, his name is Jeff Schroeder. He's from Arizona, I believe Phoenix. Uh, he has about 30 fights. The record isn't uh, the best record. Uh, it's a good fight for me though right now coming back um, uh, from my last fight where I took a loss due to an injury. But uh, it's a fight that I'm going to take and I'm going to go ahead and show everybody uh, Oki's back. You know? Tell us a little bit about your injury. I had a, a shoulder injury. It was a, a reoccurring injury and uh, I was able to dominate the fight for the whole first round, um, and I wasn't able to continue for the second round. I just couldn't move my arm. Um, but now I'm 100% and I'm ready to go. But since you took this fight on su such short notice, it's Monday today, you just got finalized for it, and the fight is on Saturday. What can you do? How does that affect your mindset coming into the cage? Um, well, everybody knows that cardio isn't my strong point, and, uh, you know, I'm not really cardio, the best condition that I've ever been in, and that's just the truth, but I'm going to be smarter this fight, um, I'm going to go ahead and pace myself a little bit, um, fortunately it's three three minute rounds, so that, that affects it a lot in my decision to take the fight, and uh, you know, hopefully I can finish it quick, but if not nine minutes, I'm ready to do that, and uh, you know, I'm still going to try to finish them right away. The fight's one week away, what goes on in your, in your mindset before you're willing to take a fight like that? Where's my cardio at? Who's my opponent? I don't have a manager. I manage myself, so I have to think strategically. I'm not one of those guys who just jumps in there and I'll take a fight with anyone at any time. Um, because this is also a business, you know. I want to win fights, but I don't want to just take tomato cans every time. But, you know, there's a managerial side and a business side of this as well. So I have to put all those things into perspective, talk to my trainers, see what they think. Um, but even though... My trainer sometimes advise against it. I still take the fight. <laughs> so I'm guessing <laughs> that your trainers down there at Gracie Bar were wanted you to think twice before you took this fight. Yeah, they think with cardio and everything that it'd probably be wise to wait. But you know, I decided to go ahead and take it anyways. I think uh, I make my own decisions, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do fine. You know, sometimes you just can't keep a competitor from competing. No, <laughs> it's hard to say no. It's just hard to say no. Now, tell me a little bit about, I know you train down there with Gracie Barra. Tell me about, you know, what some of the things you focus on down there. Well, I focus on my jiu-jitsu. Everybody knows that. I focus on my ground game, but I've been focusing a lot more on my stand-up. As we know, for the last fight, I was focusing and training with Mr. Chavez. Um, lately, I've been doing my stand-up with Fernando Iguardo. He's okay. a great uh, world champion kickboxer, and I've been doing a lot of work with him, and I've also been working a lot of judo for my throws and my takedowns. But, uh, you know, I'm going to stand and bang if we have to, but if I see the opportunity to go down and do what I do, then we're going to do it. So tell me the difference between training with Gracie and training with Fernando. Well, with Fernando, I'm strictly, strictly focusing on my stand-up, you know, uh, Muay Thai kickboxing and kickboxing based, and he's also a very good uh, accomplished boxer, but we're really just focusing on that, and a lot of the focus that I'm doing with my stand-up is defense to make sure I'm not getting hit, taking hits, when I go in and try to execute my game, you know. Um, I'm offensive standing up, but I'm more defensive to go ahead and work into my game. It's really good training and uh, it, it's helped me a lot. I feel strong. Here's a good question, you know, uh, what do you say, what in your opinion requires more cardio, the, the jiu-jitsu training or the stand-up, the kickboxing training? For me, stand-up. A lot of people I talk to, uh, uh, it's jiu-jitsu in the ground. I think whatever you train more is what you're going to be better at cardio-wise. Whatever you train less is something that you have to adjust to and learn how to breathe when you're doing those type of techniques. Right. You train with Sandia Judo Club. Now talk to me about the differences in the Judo training and the Jiu Jitsu training. Training at Sandia Judo Club, I get an opportunity to train with a bunch of black belts. I'm doing that occasionally, once or twice a week. And then I have another buddy named Abraham who's a brown belt and he's training me once a week. It really gets the focus on just the technique of takedowns. I mean, I've wrestled, I have wrestling experience. There you use a lot of power though. I'm trying to learn how to do takedowns with just pure technique and focus on that more so. Um, it's wonderful. It's focusing on the stand-up aspect of, of judo and jiu-jitsu. As you know, if you look into the history, there's not much of a difference. Jiu-jitsu is formed from judo, 
But judo tended to stay up top and jiu-jitsu went to the ground. I just decided I need to work on both parts of the game, not just the ground. And it sounds to me like you're also trying to work on the economy of motion, you know, not, not so expending so much energy, yeah. but getting the move done with economy. Look, exactly. Looking where they step, where's their body balance at, where's, uh, uh, where's the centrip centripetal force going to take them. Just thinking more about fighting. As we know, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm 31 years old. So when I was 21 years old, 22 years old, you know, I would use pure force and power, and that's fine. But, you know, as you get older, you start thinking, you know, and, and then I'm thinking about just, like you said, the economy of the fighting. Yeah, that's good to hear, and it sounds like we're going to have you around in the fight game for a long time if you keep thinking like Hopefully that. Hopefully so. I'm going for about four or five more years now, so don't count me out. You mentioned that you're not a spring chicken anymore. As you've aged fighting... Has that changed at all how you fight? You know, in your, earlier in your career, you were really aggressive. And is that, is that a trend that we're looking to see, a, a much smarter, more cerebral Adam Oki? It's something that I'm definitely working on. Um, I've always been an aggressive person. I've been able to win with aggression. It's just part of my personality. It doesn't just happen in the cage, but it's just who I am. But I'm also a smart fighter. Um, I'm trying to go ahead and work on that. I'm trying not to use up so many energy with my adrenaline as I come out. I don't want to come out crazy like I used to. Um, so yeah, I do. Uh, you would expect to see me more controlled, saving energy. And yeah, as I get older, um, you know, you got to think. If you're 20 and you're a rebel, you know, you know, if you're 20 and you're not a rebel, you got no balls. But if you're 30 and you're still a rebel, you got no brains. Right. So that lays over into fighting too. So I'm starting to think more. So it sounds to me like, you know, yeah, you are thinking more, but the aggression is ingrained in you, and if it comes a point in time for that quick, explosive aggression, you'll see it pop right out of you. Let's put it like this. Expect me to be smarter, but don't expect me not to be aggressive. Adam, I really appreciate you taking this interview on short notice. All you fans out there you. from Albuquerque, you know, Adam's on this card this weekend, and we'd love to see you down there at the fight. Thanks a lot. Kennedy.